Welcome to the Kona Fitness Exercise of the Month. This month we're looking at power cleans, and then we're gonna put it into a workout with bomber push-ups and lunges. So let's have a look at the power clean. Okay, so what I'll get Carrie to demonstrate, firstly is a full clean. When we talk about cleans, this is a full clean. Uh, we're gonna catch the bar quite low. What we're gonna uh, analyze today is just a power clean. Power clean's where you're just powering the weight up, you're not catching it low, you're catching it up on, your, on, your, on the rack position, which is your shoulders, your neck. Just show us one of those, Carrie. That's it, so catching it high. So it's mostly just practicing the power motion of pulling away up, the hip extension of the legs, hammies, glutes, bum, and the posterior chain of the body. Let's start with a normal deadlift motion. So Carrie's just gonna do a normal deadlift. So for those that are unfamiliar with this, just check out our deadlift video. She's then gonna turn it into a high pull. And that's where we're basically extending the hips um, fully, as well as the calves, so you're getting it like, like up onto your toes. Even a shrug. She's trying to get the bar as high as she can possibly accelerate that bar without actually pulling it with her arms. Now we're going to do the exact same thing and add in the pull, which is the elbows go high and the elbows snap around under the bar until the elbows are pointing forward. So let's try that again. A nice hard extension. Good. And there's our power clean. Let's put it all together like we're starting off with a deadlift and a nice strong hard pull. Good. The one thing I want to mention is that you'll see when Carrie pulls the bar up the thigh, the bar runs very close to the thigh and right into the hip pockets. Um, if the bar is away from the hip, then you're actually going to lose lots of hip or power from the hip extension. So here we can see the power clean in slow motion, using the hips to drive and drive the weight up to catch it in the rack position across the shoulders. You also notice she didn't catch it in a full deep uh, front squat. Um, it's just a power clean, so only a mini squat will, will do. Now what we're going to see is a rep which is demonstrating poor technique. So we're going to pause it right there, and you'll see this area where the hips is, this area where the bar is actually away from the hips. This is where the hips are, the line of the hips and this is where the line of the bar is. So that distance means that we're actually losing force. So if we keep seeing that, so you know, she got the bar up, but we, we're losing a lot of power. Um, what we want to see instead, you'll see another repetition where it, that was away from the hips. Again, there's the position uh, far away from the hips. Let's see one more rep where she can put it all together and hopefully have it right next to the hips. Ready, set, oh, there it is. That's where we want the bar, right on the hips, so that we know we've got full extension throughout the body there, throughout the hips and the, and the legs, and that's where we get our power from in the power clean. So there's our power clean, and let's put it together with a bit of our workout. So here we have our workout. We've got eight power cleans, eight bomber push-ups, and eight weighted lunges. <clears throat> that's walking lunges, and eight each leg, aiming for 10 minutes non-stop. So here you can see our power cleans, um, again using the hip thrust to generate the weight all the way up to the rack position. From the power clean we're straight into a bomber push-up. If you do the bomber push-up you can imagine being uh, a barbed wire fence near your head and you're going underneath that barbed wire fence and then back under it on the way back out. Under the barbed wire fence looking up and then pushing back under. If that's a slightly too hard version, this version's a bit harder, just pushing the bum straight back up. So going underneath the fence, but then just going straight back to the downward dog position. From there we're into a weighted lunge. Um, again, you're gonna uh, pop a weight on either your back or ideally as you can see here on the front, a front walking lunge, a little bit tougher, um, using the legs to do the motion. From there you're straight back into your power cleans, um, and there you have it. There's your workout with power cleans as the main exercise. Good luck.